Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to change the mouse cursor at runtime. So let's begin. So by default, let's see how to change the mouse cursor. So let me get some file from some cursor. Okay, we got a cursor. So in order to change, uh, in order to, in order to make a cursor to work with that uh, unity, so you want to change to cursor from a texture to from default to cursor, and then hit apply. So after that, the cursor will be changed, and so by default you want to change this cursor over here. So in order to change that, go to file, build settings. And click on play settings. So, if you see over here, yeah. So, so I switch to Android. If you see over here, so it will ask to for a default icon, default cursor. I can drop the default cursor over here. After that, close this menu. You can see. So after it play or without play, you can see as soon as when when you try to drag over a game game window, you can able to see that cursor has been changed to that uh, cursor we have dropped here. So in this way, you can able to change the cursor. Static. This is a static command. This is a default cursor. So, in order to change the cursor at runtime, so there is one method we want to we want to do manually with the help of programming. We can't be able to do in the editor. So, to make this, I am going to write a one script. Create this C sharp script. Then it is cursor or whatever. Drag and drop the main camera or whatever. Actually, it's your choice. Okay. So open the script. Okay. So. So let's uh, let's create a so let's get the cursor from the editor so public texture is a texture 2D so make sure that you have texture 2 and then cursor I'm writing curse okay so Let's find out about the cursor over here. So let's we change one more cursor. Drag and drop over here. That's it. So in order to change the cursor at runtime from this cursor, green cursor to black. We are going to call this script, okay? So, in order to use the cursor, there is two more days required. One was public cursor mode. And I think C or mode equal to cover mode dot R. So, we need a mode and then we need which portion the cursor should be replaced, okay? So I am making public vector to spot. Vector to dot zero. So vector to zero is nothing but it's similar to new vector to of zero comma zero. Okay, so whole thing are same, so you don't want to confuse that. So I am writing in a shorthand manner as vector to dot zero. Okay. 
So it has been done now. So we'll try to change. So let's see. Set the cursor. 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 Dot. Set cursor. This is a predefined point, predefined system. And then cursor texture. It's a curse, okay? This this one. And then we need to call spot. So spot the position of the cursor need to be replaced. And then the mode cursor mode C U R M O D. Is it C U R C R? Sorry, C R. -E. I turn on the sound ratio, which I will do. Okay, so as soon as start button is called, uh, after we hit the play button, the cursor will be changed. Let's see what's happening. See, if you release the play button, the default cursor will be there. If you press the play button, the black cursor will be changed. So we will try to change uh, two button at a two cursor at the same time at the same time. Let's see what can how to do that. So change the one more cursor. So cursor and then after hit apply. So we will try to change the three at the same time. Now show you that for click texture. Okay. Public word C U R one two three two three okay cut it off one two three okay should be closer zero this should be closer one This should be closer to okay. So try and drop the three closures in the space. Three array one, two, and then three. Okay. So we'll try to add a uh, three buttons. UI Let's have a three image over here. One, two, three. Okay. So we we'll try to add a button so that even we can call the event button. Okay. So this is the one. First cursor. Second cursor. And then the third cursor. Okay. So we have a three cursors with the button. So we we'll try to call the functions here. Try and drop the main camera to area to give release buttons. Okay. This is closer two. This is closer three. This is closer one. Okay. Make sure that it is uh, arranging one, two, three. It should be right. Okay, we'll try to add the same image over here. So it's a closer, it's a, it's a texture type. Maybe what we do is duplicate this, add also this and change to strike so that it won't interact with that thing. Oh. So outline here. The border. So, 
so we have three cursor here so once the user click a particular cursor it need to change so before that what we want to do is we want to make sure that by default the cursor should be normal cursor then only it will be great so what I will do instead of this I making by default to null let's see what it's happening I don't need any cursor at the start at runtime only I need okay it's taking a default maybe try to remove from here yes let's run Perfect. Let's see. Try to click on it. The cursor need to change. Yeah, it is changing, but it's being wise. Uh, maybe some of that. Cursor one. Cursor one should be black. Yeah. Black. Cursor two. Two should be orange. Three should be this one. Oh, it should it will work. So we have this much on the back. I'm missing something. Oh, sorry. Sorry for that. I want to drag this. To add that, uh, so one is black, two is orange, three is gray. Okay, now it's perfect. So click first one, so it has changed to brown. Click second one, it has changed to orange, and we'll try to click third, it will change into green. So you can able to change dynamically at the runtime or when you are playing a particular bow and arrow or shooting type of game you can able to change the cursor at runtime like this so this is it if you think this video is very helpful for you please subscribe us thank you